hello and welcome to my channel so i had to do a star wars look today as today is may the 4th otherwise known as star wars day so i started this look off by painting from my jawline down basically with a black face paint this face paint is by moon creations i then tapped my brush into the snazaru clown white face paint and then i tapped it over my body leaving the center quite clear the reason i'm doing this is i'm trying to create a galaxy type background behind the main star baby Yoda and then go over that with some different colors to give the galaxy feel I start off by using my Din Air airbrush and I use the color primary yellow and then I also use a little bit of a genuine orange after that I use a bit of the color process magenta and the color high def cyan if you didn't know the paints that I put in my Din Air airbrush gun it's actually by Mac and it is called the pro performance HD airbrush makeup. I wanted this look to be black light activated so I went over all them colours with the Moon Creations UV pigments. I used the colour pink, intense blue, yellow and orange. I then picked up my airbrush again and lightly misted a layer of black over it just so it all blends in quite nicely. Now as you know from the intro and the title we paint Baby Yoda or the child in the centre of my chest. So I started off by getting a makeup wipe and clearing the area that I'm going to paint and I then got a brown eyeliner pencil and started to sketch out parts of the design. This specific design where he is reaching out for the butterfly I found on Pinterest and I loved it so much I wanted to draw it on my chest so that is what I am doing. If you didn't know Baby Yoda or The Child is from the Disney Plus series called The Mandalorian. In The Mandalorian he floats around in what they call a pram but it just looks like a big floating egg. So the first colour I used to paint this egg it was by Moon Creations and this is in the shade beige. Now to add some texture and detail to the pram or the egg, I then use the Snazaroo Classic Face Paint in the shade Light Brown. I also use a dark brown eyeshadow to create some shadowing around the top and the outer edges of the egg. If you are recreating this, I really, really recommend looking at photos that are from the series because me describing things to you is not going to be as easy as if you was looking at an actual photo as well as following this tutorial. So once I had done all the shadowing and detailing of the egg that I wanted to do I did add some orange to it. I used the Moon Creations dark orange face paint as it is meant to be a little rusty. Then for Baby Yoda's skin I used the Mayron Paradise Makeup AQ in the shade Lime. And then for the clothing I used the Moon Creations face paint in the shade Beige. To add the creases into the clothing, I used the Snazzery face paint in the shade Light Brown. Then I went over and created some shadowing with that dark brown eyeshadow that we used earlier. I then filled in some of the spaces that is around the drawing that I have done with black face paint. And I filled in the bright blue butterfly with the Snazzery face paint in the shade Turquoise. I then move on to Baby Yoda's face and again I used that lime face paint that we used earlier. And then I used that black Moon Creations face paint to paint the big pupils in his eyes and his mouth and a little bit of his nose. I then got the white Moon Creations face paint and painted the whites of his eyes and also a little tooth in the middle of his mouth. For the pink section inside his ears, I used the Moon Creations face paint in the shade Magenta. I also added a little bit of pink to his cheeks just to make them look super cute and rosy. For shadowing on Baby Yoda's face, I went into the Luna Beauty Moonspell palette and used the shade called Marnie. This is the perfect dark green to create shadows on Baby Yoda's face. I created shadowing underneath the chin, around the eyes and around the ears. I also added some wrinkles in the forehead as well. Then with the white face paint, I created tiny, tiny, tiny little hairs on the top of his head. Sticking with that white face paint and the now dotting tool, I created some stars in the background. Moving on to the face, I primed my eyes with the MAC Paint Pots in Painterly. Then I went into the Moon Creations Neon UV Pigment in the shade Green. And I blended out this kind of graphic liner above my crease, but it's really blended out. I then did the rest of my face makeup. And for blush, I used the Sailor Moon Colourpop Cat's Eye Blush. And then for highlight, I used the highlight called Pixie in the London Copyright Highlighter Palette. For my brows I use the Morphe Brow Cream in the shade Java and for my eyeliner I use the Makeup a Murder Forensic Eyeliner Pen. 
To make that green on my eye look like it's a glowing light, I used the Fenty Beauty Vivid Eyeliner in the shade Wet T-shirt and painted a thin line in the middle of it. I then put on my wig and brushed it through quickly before using the Urban Decay Liquid Lipstick in the shade 1993. I couldn't find the footage anywhere, but the lashes that I did use for this look are by Morphe and they're in the style Yas Queen. <laughs> this is the final look i then turned on my uv activated light or my black light just to make all the uv pigments that we used in this look really pop let me know what you think of this look in the comments down below have you celebrated star wars day today if you have let me know what you've been doing have you seen the mandalorian if you have let me know what you think about it i absolutely loved it and every time i saw baby yoda I screamed. He was so cute. If you like this look and would like to see more from me, you can hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And please, please, please follow me over on my Instagram page. I lost my old account. It had 50k followers and I completely lost it. It got hacked. So I've had to start again. At the moment, my new goal is 500 followers. Today I hit 300, which is really, really cool. So thank you anyone on here that has supported me and followed me over on there. But if you haven't, please make sure to go follow me on there it will mean the absolute world to me it is at brooke ellis makeup it is linked in the description down below along with my other social media accounts thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one bye